Hi there, this is Mario and I just want to give you a quick shout out to say thank you. Thank you for walking this wonderful journey of Forex trading with me the last few years. We are now in a stage of what I would call a financial phenomenon in human history. You see, what happened in, in the last one year, I actually did a research entitled FX Waves. And over the course of me um, going out there and educating the public, private bankers, individual investors of what FX Waves truly is, it has really started to catch on, not only in Singapore, but really all around the region. What happened interestingly enough, um, over on Facebook about last week, I've actually posted a question or uh, some sort of a poll on Facebook. And I asked this question, how many of us actually understand not only the definition, but also the power of what FX waves truly is. Now the feedback that I got was that not many of you actually understand what exactly FX waves truly is. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna uh, record a short video clip for you right now and give you, we beyond a shadow of a doubt to explain to you what exactly is FX waves, why you must listen to it, and more importantly, how you and I can take advantage of this massive movement of FX waves immediately. Let's take a look at the next video. So this is FX waves that I want to share with you. This is our secret to explosive wealth. Let me first define for you what exactly are the FX waves. FX waves are categorized by large trending moves in the forex market. These huge moves are caused by the main emotions like fear and panic or hope and greed. Now, the most critical thing that we have to understand about the forex markets is something called market sentiment. So fear and panic is on one end, the extreme sentiment, and hope and greed is on the other extreme. Point number three is that they occur in both up and down directions. These huge moves are typically over 500 pips in a single month. What exactly causes FX waves? FX waves are caused by significant geopolitical or economic events. Now this simply means the big events, whether it's in a political scene or whether it's the economic scene that affects their GDP or their trade balance, um, in any one of the major countries. Let me summarize for you what exactly happens in some of these major currency pairs. And this is critical, friends, for us to understand so that we, we, you and me are able to take huge advantages of what happens in the Forex market. Pay attention here. I'm summarizing it in terms of two major boxes. In times of hope and greed, you will see five currencies strengthening and you will see three currencies weakening. Now, the five currencies that strengthen are the Euro, the Sterling, the Aussie Dollar, the Canadian Dollar, and the Kiwi Dollar. The three currencies that weaken are the US Dollar, the Japanese Yen, and the Swiss Franc. So it's very easy for us to see as a Forex trader that in times of hope and greed, the euro dollar currency pair will move in an uptrend the pound yen will move in an uptrend the aussie dollar will also move in an uptrend the kiwi swiss will also move in an uptrend in times of fear and panic the opposite happens the five risk currencies of the euro the sterling the aussie the canadian dollar and the kiwi they will all fall on the other hand the three safe haven currencies like the US dollar, the Japanese yen, and the Swiss franc will strengthen. So in summary, in times of fear and panic, you will see currencies like the Aussie yen dropping, the Canadian Swiss dropping, the pound yen dropping, and the euro dollar dropping. As part of my research, I'm sharing with you my research that we are currently now in the fourth wave of this whole cycle of what I term as the FX waves. Let me bring you back to the very, very first wave that happened actually in May 2010. Now this happened just barely a year ago, and it was because Greece had finally asked for a bailout from the EU and the IMF. Here's an article to show you that the Eurozone approves a massive Greece bailout of 110 billion euros. 
as a summary, and I'm just showing you five currency pairs that made huge drops. The Aussie dollar in the month of May 2010 alone dropped 1,157 pips. The Euro dollar dropped over 1,200 pips. The Aussie yen dropped close to 1,500 pips. The Euro yen dropped 1,588 pips. And the Pound yen dropped a massive 1,714 pips. From these five currency pairs alone, we saw that you could have netted a total of 7,154 pips just in the month of May alone. Now, knowing that one standard lot is equivalent, um, that pays you at least one pip to the equivalent of 10 US dollars, if you had taken these five currency pairs, you could have made a whopping 70,000 US dollars just in the month of May alone last year. This by no means is an exhaustive list. You would understand that from the permutations of the FX waves, you could have played a maximum of 15 currency pairs. I'm just showing you five of these pairs. Now, the second wave happened in November 2010 last year, when the United States announced a second round of quantitative easing, or what they term as QE2. Here's, a gra here's a, um, the article that shows you that the Fed prints an additional 600 billion US dollars to keep the US recovery on track. As with the first wave, this was a case that was interpreted as fear and panic in the financial markets. And this was the result. We saw that the pound dollar dropped over 600 pips, the Aussie dollar dropped 635, the Euro Swiss dropped 733 pips, Euro dollar dropped 1310, and the Euro Yen dropped 1502 pips. In total, it was about 4785 pips. And make no mistake about it, if you had just played one lot that paid you 10 US dollars for one pip, you could have netted a cool 47,000 US dollars just on these five currency pairs in November last year. Now, the third wave happened early this year, and I call that the Middle Eastern crisis. And for those of you who were following the news, you saw how the whole Middle East was basically moving into a shutdown from countries like Libya and Egypt. Oil prices were soaring to a two-year high on worries over the Middle Eastern crisis. And again, simply because this was taken as fear and panic by investors and traders worldwide, you saw the same phenomenon happening over again. You see the Canadian yen dropping 928 pips, Euro yen dropping 970 pips, the Aussie yen dropped 1,020 pips, the Pound Swiss dropped over 1,000 pips, and the Pound yen dropped a total of 1,235 pips. Now, the total of just these five currency pairs alone was a total of 5,209 pips. And bear in mind, this happened all in the space of just one month. So a net total of 52,000 US dollars you could have made if you had followed the phenomenon and the theory of FX waves. What is most exciting now, friends, if you truly understand the massive potential, the massive power that we currently now have, I'm here to tell you that we are right smack in the middle of the fourth wave. Now, the fourth wave just happened barely uh, in, in, in the first day of August, where the S&P, which is one of the world's top three rating agencies, they downgraded the US debt rating from AAA to AA+. Bear in mind that this is the first time in the US history that they have lost the maximum safety net of the AAA rating. This was absolutely viewed as fear and panic in the financial market. And the best way to show you um, how the markets have reacted is to go live on the charts. So let me go live on the charts now and show you what exactly happened. Now here is, uh, I'm going to just show you about five charts, all right? And just by the 1st of August, as you would have recalled, in times of fear and panic, the Aussie dollar would, um, would drop and the Japanese yen would strengthen. Now, when you put two and two together, you will see a massive downtrend on the Aussie yen. Just at the start of the downgrade, you could have seen in the last just about nine days, 
the Aussie yen dropped a total of about 950 pips. Let me show you another one. The Aussie dollar, all of them, friends, if you see, actually exhibit the same characteristic that they had massive drops. The Aussie dollar dropped a grand total of over 1,130 pips, which would have netted you 11,000 US dollars had you just played one lot on this currency pair. The Kiwi dollar, in similar fashion, dropped a total of 872 pips, which could have netted you about 8,700 US dollars. Euro Swiss which was one of the biggest movers at least, also because of the sovereign debt crisis that's currently being experienced in Europe, dropped a grand total of 1,372 pips. And bear in mind that this just happened in the last nine days alone. You could have made a grand total of 13,700 US dollars had you understood the absolute power of FX waves. And the other one that I want to show you, the final one, is the Pound Swiss. So from the 1st of August all the way to the 9th of August, in just 9 days, it moved a grand total of 1,622 pips. In summary, all I just want to share with you is that when you understand FX waves, that there will be 5 currencies that will decrease or rather weaken, and there will be 3 currencies that will strengthen. When you put two and two together, it is not difficult to see that um, the FX waves will take all these currencies in a massive downtrend when the dominant sentiment is fear and panic. So this is the absolute crux of FX waves that you must understand that when you know the sentiment of whether is it hope and greed or fear and panic, you can now be in a position to be making massive amounts of money simply by riding the wave of the dominant sentiment in the financial market. So I hope you clearly understand FX waves, which currency pairs will rise and which currency pairs will fall. I hope this short video will now put you on the path for you to be making massive amounts of money in the financial market simply because we are now at the absolute start of the fourth wave. I hope you got something out of this video. I have something that will share with you more in detail what you can do in FX waves, particularly of how you can dissect and understand whether it will give you hope and greed or fear and panic. So I will share that with you in my upcoming video. Please look out for it.